Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to go over how to use index and match to get the information that you want out of your table, but this time we're going to use columns and rows dynamically to get what we're looking for. So we're going to use match twice instead of once. If you saw my first index match video, we used match once, and an explanation for how index and match work is in that video. So what we have on the left hand side is a list of player names and then we have their positions and we also have the team that they play for. This is not one team, it is players from many teams. And what we want to know is we want to know something about the person we select, but we want it to be dynamic in that we want to choose what we want to know about that person. We want to choose the column, if you will. So let's just type in position for now, and we'll use our index and match to get the player's position. Equals index, open parenthesis. And Google Sheets will tell you what you need. And like we went over in the last video, we need a range to look within to get what we want. In the last video, we just had two columns and we could pick one column to look within. But in this case, there's more than one column that we might want to get information from. So we might select both columns. And comma. So we're looking for something within these two columns up down to row 17. And now again, it is asking us for a row number. Now if we want to get the position or if we want to get something about Harry Bird, we can put in the row number that he's in, which is 17. So again, maybe we put in number 17, comma, and the column, well if we want position, we'd put in column 1. If we want team, we'd put in column 2. Let's say that we want the team, then we could put in column 2 and close the parenthesis and click enter. And that will give us the team for Harry Bird. But if we change the player to someone else, like Mikhail Jordan, this is not going to change. And what we want is we want this to update based on the player that we select. And not only that, but maybe we want to know the position of him and not the team. So the first thing that we need to do is, just like in the last video, is let's match the row to the right row of this player. So we're looking in the same range from index. We're looking somewhere in these two columns, but we want to match. Now what do we want to match? We want to match the player's name that we type into here, comma, to the name in this list. That's how we want to get our row, because if Michael Jordan or Mikhail Jordan is in row 11, then we want the information in row 11. And then comma, zero, an exact match. And then let's keep our column to be comma, column two. And I will close the parenthesis and click enter. Now we have the team for the right person. I don't know oh, what just happened. Um, now we have the team for the right person. And if we change the name of the person to Raul Pierce, the team will change. But what if we want a different piece of information about this person? Well, then we need to make this column, not number two, but something dynamic. And that's where we use match again. So instead of number two, we can say match, open parenthesis. And now what do we want to match? We want to match what we type in here, which might be our metric of choice, comma, to, let me collapse this for a second, one of these column headers, comma, zero, an exact match. And I'm going to close the parentheses and click enter. Now we have Raul Pierce's position. And what we're doing here is we're saying, Google Sheets, look for something in these two columns and match 
whatever is in here to the names in here for the row that we're looking in. So in this case, we're looking in row two because this name is in row two, or it's actually row three, uh, including the columns. And then for the column, for the columns, we want to match the header, or we want to match what we type in here to the header here. So position is in column one, so it knows that we are getting something from column one. And now we have a combination of row three, column one, and that's what we get, small forward. Now, if we change this position to team and click enter, now we have the team for Raul Pierce. And if we change the name to Chaz Barkley, we will get the team for Chaz Barkley. I hope this video was beneficial. If you thought it was helpful or you enjoy the content, please make sure to give me some love with, with a like or subscription so that YouTube knows that this stuff is valuable to some people at least. And uh, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.